Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. I welcome you all in Absets Online Support and Assignment tutorial for Round Two, Week Three. I'm Zubair Zak from EBS Chapter The grade is ten and subject is biology. SBS Chapter Number Thirteen. And objective is at the end of this week you would be able to understand about sport movement osteoporosis and arthritis from textbook pages fifty seven to sixty five. Now I will discuss about the locomotion. Are you able to observe the locomotion of this insect? So locomotion is the movement of an animal as a whole from one place to another. And the skeletal system of some invertebrates, for example, artho arthropods which are included in insects have their skeleton outside of the body and is known as exoskeleton and now i will describe about the human skeleton the skeletal system or skeleton is defined as the framework of hard articulate related structures that provide physical support attachment for the skeletal muscles and protection for the bodies of animals like other vertebrates the human skeleton is on the inside of the body and is called endoskeleton and insects have exoskeleton in the living body the skeleton is very much alive bones and cartilage are made of living cells and also have nerves and blood vessels in them they grow and have the ability to repair themselves so what is the role of this skeletal system the big functions of skeletal system are protection support and movements in our body skeleton works very closely with the muscular system to help us move Similarly, skeleton provides protection to many internal organs. For example, the skull protects brain. The vertebral column protects the spinal cord. And these ribs protect most of the other internal organs. Vertebral column also provides the main support to body mass. And now I will describe about the bones and cartilage. And now I am showing you the cartilage. And cartilage is the soft bone that is covering this hard and compact bone. So are you able to observe this soft bone that is known as cartilage? This cartilage is a dense clear blue white firm and strong connective tissue but less strong than bone. The cells of cartilage are called chondrocytes. Each chondrocyte lies in a fluid space called lacuna that is present in the matrix of cartilage. The matrix of cartilage also contains collagen fibers Blood vessels do not enter cartilage. There are three types of cartilage. Hyaline cartilage is strong yet flexible and it is found covering the ends of the long bones in the nose, larynx, trachea and bronchial tubes. Elastic cartilage is similar in structure to the hyaline cartilage but it is also quite strong but has elasticity due to a network of elastic fibers in addition to collagen fibers. It is found in pinna and epiglottis. Fibrous cartilage is very strong and is less flexible to, due to a large due to large number of thick collagen fibers present in knitted form. It is found in invertebral disc. This cartilage and bone are types of connective tissues tissue in animals. The connective tissues contain collagen fibers in a matrix. Tendons and ligaments are the connective tissues that contain tightly packed collagen fibers. I have discussed about the locomotion, endoskeleton and exoskeleton. Here you can watch the stiff covering on the outside of some creatures. I have discussed about cartilage bones, 
cartilage and bones, elastic cartilage, hyaline cartilage and fibrocartilage that is also known as fibrous cartilage. Cartilage is a dense, clear, blue-white, firm connective tissue but less strong than bone. The cells of cartilage are also called chondrocytes. Each chondrocyte lies in a fluid space called lacuna, present in the matrix, as you can watch here. And the matrix of cartilage also contains collagen fibers. Blood vessels do not enter cartilage. There are three types of cartilage I have discussed earlier. And here you can watch the ligament, that is the connection between bone to bone, and tendon, that is the connection between muscle to bone. I have discussed about the hyaline cartilage that was in nose trach and tracheal system. Elastic car cartilage that was present in pinna and hyaline cartilage. Fibrous cartilage that was present in vertebral disc. The fibrous cartilage was very tough and less flexible due to large number of thick collagen fibers present in knitted form and invertebral disc was an example of fibr fibrous cartilage. I will discuss about bones in my next video lesson. Thank you and have a nice day.